Mr. Depp, you understood um, that the last few years before Amber, that your relationship with your kids was such that there was a perception by them that you weren't around for them and that that all changed when Amber came into your life, correct? Objection calls for speculation. Just asking what he's aware of. Um, I'll allow it. May I have a question one more time? Please? You're, you're aware that, asking. sure, sure. You're aware that the last few years before you started dating Amber, that there was a perception by your kids that you weren't around and that that all changed when Amber came into your life. Um, th this is uh, not exactly the truth, uh, what you're trying to put forth. No, I'm just asking if you were aware that, of my question, that there was a perception that you weren't around for the last couple of years before Amber and that that changed when Amber came into your life. That's, that's all I'm asking. Asked and answered, Your Honor. There were extenuating circumstances. That sure the answer to right. For that objection, I'll, I'll, I'll overrule that objection. Thank you. Um, you're also aware that there was a perception, you, you, were, you were made aware, that Lily Rose believed that Amber was a good influence on you and changed you for the better, correct? Objection hearsay, Your Honor. Just asking for what his understanding is. I'll sustain the objection. Let's move on. Okay. All right. Very brief you, you period. Have to, you, you don't have, have to answer, answer that question. I sustain the oh, objection. I'm sorry. That's fine. Next question. You're aware of the uh, the links that Miss Heard went to to care for you when you were impaired on drugs or alcohol, correct? You'd have to be specific. More okay. Specific, please. Let's let's be spe specific. Sorry. Can you please pull up um, Exhibit 839? Your Honor, this is a recording. Um, and we plan to play six minutes and 55 seconds through seven minutes and 29 seconds. Is this a recording we already have? In... No, this I is don't... a recording. I, 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 I don't believe so, but I'm not 100% sure if this has been. 839? Eight, the defendant's 839. Is there any objection to that audio recording? I don't believe, assuming this is an audio recording between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt, then we have no objection. All it right. is. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. And so no objection to it being entered in evidence, correct? That's correct. And it's full content, but we're just playing a portion of it. Is that That's correct? exactly okay. right. All right. Yep. Very nine in evidence then. Okay. Thank you. And permission to play um, the, the clip mentioned to the jury? Okay. I assume there's no objection since it's in. That's fine. Go ahead. By pounding on the door and waking you up every 15 minutes and then falling asleep next to the door. If I could hear you snore in case if you vomited, I could call EMS if you ever stopped snoring. Because you're afraid I, could, I was going to die. I thought you would choke on your own vomit, which is very likely with you. Really? Yes. Very likely. Do I vomit a lot? Yes. Do I? Yes, you do vomit a lot in your sleep, even more. Really? Oh, it's news to you? Then this is affecting you a lot more than I thought it was. Can you please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1094? Your Honor, may we approach briefly? Sure. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this picture as being a picture of you? Yes, Ms. Hurd kindly showed it to me the day after she took it, yes. Okay. Um, this picture, 
I'd, I'd move for the admission of exhibit defendants exhibit 1094 and ask for permission to publish your honor you have no objection your honor This is a picture of you on a on a black leather couch, passed out. Correct. Passed out is an interesting way of putting it. Maybe asleep. Where is it? What what residence? That's in Boston. I'm sorry. That was in Boston when I was doing black mass. In Boston, and that's um, that's ice cream on your lap. Correct. It is indeed. Uh, okay. Ms. Hurd asked me to hold the ice cream as she noticed that I was on on the nod. That means falling asleep um, from the. 17 hour day that I'd worked and okay. also the opiates that I'd ingested. Um, and if you'll notice, my right hand is in my pocket. Um, so I wasn't participating in the festival of ice cream. Okay. Um, I was holding her ice cream. And um, because she knew what was going to happen, okay. that I would fall asleep and it would drop. And that was a wonderful picture to take for her. Sure. I so, don't know why she took it. But. Well, so it's Miss Hurd's fault that that picture was taken. Is that what you're saying? She, she snapped it. Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's talk about this because you say you were in Boston. This is when you were filming Black Mass. Yes. And you, you, you testify that that was kind of the last film that you did um, when you were, you, you were taking opiates, right? Was, yes, it was right before the, <clears throat> the trip to the island. To, and you testified results. yesterday that um, opiates, you don't take opiates to get high, right? You, um, you, you, you've testified to that on a couple different occasions, correct? You certainly can take opiates to get high. If I doubled the dose, then I would most assuredly uh, be ready for sleep right. that's not a blackout that's sure so if you double sleep. if you double the dose you'd be ready for sleep but it's it wouldn't get you high in the way that other other drugs would correct well the 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 high is there, there's it, it's it's a, a extreme downer mm -hmm. um it, it it that's its job Right, and, and, and for that reason, I believe you testified yesterday or t two days ago, it's not like you take those pills to get high. You remember giving that testimony, correct? Um, I said that it's, it's not like I took the pills mm -hmm. to get high. I took the pills to Thank be you. normal, to stay uh, normal okay. so that Let's I wouldn't pull up get 866, sick. Please. What number did you say? I'm sorry. Uh, Defendant's Exhibit 866. But I also believe that I said that I asked Nurse, uh, or I told Nurse uh, Debbie that uh, I had told her that I needed more than I actually took because I always wanted to have one or two in my pocket just in case mm -hmm. the uh, kick started. Mm -hmm. um, if you could take a look at the... Um the text at the top of that page. Um, yes. It's a text, text exchange between you and Aaron Borum. Aaron Borum, you testified as one of Dr. Kipper's nurses, right? Yes, sir. And this is a text exchange that you had with her uh, in uh, August and September 2016, correct? Um, sorry, I'm looking for the... Oh, yes, yes. Uh, which one are we looking at here? The, the, top, the top three. And in the first, she tells you that she's watching Black Mass for the yes. third time, right? On, yes, so August 30th, yes. Yep. And, um, Your Honor, I'd, I'd move for, uh, I'd like to admit this exhibit, um, 866, um, and permission to publish, please. And particularly, I'm talking about the top three texts. Oh, so we're jacking the other text, just the top three texts and the identity? Yes, your, information? yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, we have no objection, but we would ask that the fourth text message be included as well right, as so context. The top four text messages. Sure. And obviously the phone number is redacted right. as well. Of course. Let's get that up and see what that looks like. 